walked into my life just like a Hello guys, nice to see you again. And now we got this beautiful Targa 911. The car is relatively new and gentlemen came for the paint correction and ceramic coating. I'm going to show you, I left a couple of panels only for this video to show you how the car looked like when it came. Actually the whole car was covered with these defects, with these bird marks. Can you see them? swells and slowly starts scratches and miring on a pane okay and plus we got a little bit of more on top of the bonnet we got sub trees tree sap apologize tree sap on, on inside of the pane and become too milky this is after and after you see guys how beautiful actually is the pain so we bring it to the showroom condition and what we're going to do ceramic coating four to five years i can show you one more wing why we're doing this ceramic coating because we'll protect and preserve this kind of incident you see them closer shot so that's really important and in terms of interior Again, we're going to do steam, wet and dry, mats, and you see them, it's quite muddy on the side, so we're going to treat completely, strip it down everything, and preserve it with the leather conditioner. In terms of seats, they still smell gorgeous, absolutely brand new, so we're not going to treat them. In terms of leather conditioner, we try to keep it original as we can. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed the video and see you with next one. Just want to share this guys, when I'm doing like bird marks, etc, etc, like small, tiny little one and a half inch square, why do I prefer doing with a small machine so I build it in um, building certain temperature in a small place instead of cutting heavily whole panel around with a big machine so much rather prefer doing with a small machine, small part mark, start it like this, and then we dress it with a big six and a half inch polisher. Hey guys, so now we're using green pad and we're using refined polisher. So what's the purpose of refined polisher? Make this color rich and going to look like better than showroom because this color get rid of any micro haziness or miring and will be very rich and beautiful all right so let's do the refining paint so when we refine the paint we can uh, speed up 2800 three and a half thousand in terms of speed and we're not going to damage anything because we're taking miring and swearing now the finest so but we need to break it in with the speed so the product changing to from the thickness to the lightness and will be very glossy and shiny in the end Hey guys, so now we're moving in the front, front of the car, the bumper, and in this caliber of the, of the vehicle, this lovely, beautiful Targa, have uh, lots of mosquitoes once they're driving the vehicle. So come have a look. So now, once again, we see mosquito inside in the lacquer. So the safest way with this particular paint to do is to polish it. So build the heat and scoop it out, which everything was inside in the lacquer, and just leave it beautiful panel after. We got mosquitoes here, here, on the lights, so it's the safe way to scoop it out. So 
So now we finished the polishing, guys, and it's absolutely look like brand new. It's beautiful and safe way to take the box from the lacquer is the polish, I would say. In I like to do this way things. So we got look like relatively brand new panel, but what we got tiny little micro stone chips. If anyone in the future would like to use the PPF, we doing the PPF to preserve and protect, especially with the Porsches from wing lights, from bumper bonnet, especially for the for the stone chips is the best way to protect is PPF. We can do it for you guys. So just let us know if you're interested for something like that. But even with the ceramic coating, will be beautiful and preserved too. So there you go guys, we're moving to interior. We already done hoover, hoover the mats, hoover the interior. So we're not going to mix this mat and uh, literally big heavy junk with the steam. Steam is the best way to kill the bacteria and make it look like brand new, okay? So let's go. Once again, this is the safest way to get rid of the stains. Instead of go heavy chemicals on the material. And we can reach the perfection in this technique with the steam. So now guys, you see, if you come close a little bit, these stains came from the shoes. So what does do the mat eating the plastic material and the color, especially on a sensitive leather section on a glove box? So what we're going to do again, once again, steam it, and then we preserve it with the plastic conditioner. Working with the steam is the best thing to do because like I said, all crevices can be covered and bring it to brand new condition. In terms of the steam, it's the best way to do it. If we go on a sensitive ladder, which is very particular and very soft, I love to use the tower on top of the steamer. In terms of this brown, beautiful leather, again, we've got really soft part here. So a couple of squeeze of the product. And what I'm going to do is literally micro little dots on this leather. So we're going to treat it very gently. and soft, soft part, like I said, nothing aggressive. And then we just wipe it off and it will be beautiful once again. Well, guys, we finished this beautiful, gorgeous Targa, absolutely stunning, beautiful Porsche 911. What we did with this vehicle, completely decontamination, two stage, certain places, three stage polishing and seal it with the, and protect it with the ceramic coating for four to five years. Thank you very much for all your support. Please like, share, subscribe this channel, much appreciated and see you with the next one guys.